Hi everyone and welcome to this really quick and short check-in on the cotton supply chain. So today I want to go through with you what does it look like when cotton is made? What does it look like when the raw material, the raw cotton, turns into a ready-made garment? What steps does it go through? It's gonna look something like this. And I'm gonna go through each and every step of the process with you. Alright, let's get started. It starts at the cotton farm. Cotton is obviously it's a natural fiber. It's grown and it's harvested about once a year. After it has been harvested, it goes into a ginner. At the ginner, that's where it's being um, cleaned and packed into bales. After it has been at the ginner, it's being sold to traders. Because cotton is being traded just like any other commodity. And traders will buy the bales of cotton and put them in warehouses and storages until they receive orders. And when it comes from the fashion and the garment industry, it's a spinning mill that will be buying their cotton. So the step after the trader is a spinner. At the spinner, obviously that's where the yarn is made and the spinner will be using bales of cotton and different kind of qualities of cotton coming from different origins to create the best type of yarn. After the yarn or after the spinner, it goes to the fabric mill. At the fabric mill, it's either being weaved or knitted into a fabric. And the same thing as with the, uh, as with the spinner, the fabric maker will use different types of yarns to create that specific fabric. After the fabric mill, it goes to the garment maker. That is the last step before it's being shipped off to the, to the brands. And in between these steps, especially from spinning, fabric mill, garment maker, there can be different kind of processes applied to the material as well. So there can be washing, dyeing, printing and also embroidery if we talk about the ready-made product. So as you can see it goes through many different kind of hands and owners and it's a pretty long and non-transparent supply chain uh, as it looks today or non-transparent chain of custody as it looks like today. Of course there are different types of cotton that have more or less visibility or more or less traceability but in general conventional cotton is um, pretty hard to trace. But there you go, that's a, an overview of the cotton supply chain or the cotton chain of custody. Thank you so much for watching, it was great to have you. I recently just did this video on traceability and why we need to have traceability. What is traceability and why do we need to have it? If you're uncertain about the term traceability, check that out. And uh, otherwise, I hope I will see you in the next tutorial very soon. Bye bye.